serving this crap again. They promised mango and lime wraps this week. They promised them. I saw it on TV. <sighs> Maybe the supply train derailed again. Oh, I can't eat this shit. At least I'll lose weight. Come on, you're fading away. Mike's been serving us for three and a half years and he keeps feeding us these shit burgers. I swear they are worse year by year. Ah, oh, but who cares till we replace soon? What makes you say that? Well, one term is four years, so he only has a few months left. But he can get re-elected again. Well, yeah. That can't happen. Do you know my stepbrother is running for candidate this year? Hello. Are you fed? Let me hear you. Are you fed? Or are you fed up? Yeah. Aren't you bored with soggy, skinny burgers? Aren't you tired of soda having just a few sad bubbles? Aren't you sick of plastic flavors? Vote for me on 1st of April and I'll get your nutrition right. I'll cherish your taste buds and I'll boost your vitamin level just to serve you and your loved ones. Choose Danny. Choose good taste. Choose health. Why does he say only me? and my loved ones. And what about those people over there? I don't know them, I don't love them, but I want them to enjoy good food. Yeah, his campaign speech sucked. Yeah, you should run for waiter. I don't have connections. But you've got good ideas, Pete. Hi, folks. Eat dirt, Mike. Next year, I'll have a completely new menu. French fries will be fried, I mean properly. Crunchy and shit. We'll raise the roof. Hey guys, Monique. Hey. You haven't met my stepbrother, Danny. Hi, nice to meet you. You too. Did you hear my speech? Oh yeah, it was awesome, like very personal. I felt like you were really talking to me and my loved ones. I loved every second. You nailed it. Mike has no chance. Uh, I don't know about that. There's some serious corruption issues around Mike. What do you mean? All his ex-colleagues and neighbors get double ketchup. And when there is a new sandwich from Belgium, his friends get to try it first before it goes on the official menu. No, he can't do that. He can. He's the waiter. He's got the food. Everybody's fed up with Mike. You got a really good chance, Danny. Well. There's also Boris, and he's said to have a solid campaign. Hi everybody, my name is Jack Boris, not Jack Norris, the karate kid. Boris, as you can guess from my name, I'm from Italy. Have you ever heard about that country? It's beautiful. Food there is a wonder. It's magic. They don't commit suicide with burgers and wraps. They have fresh basil pastas and paper thin pizzas and salt in bocca and ravioli. You're gonna love it. Let me show you guys. If you're ready for new experiences, choose the provider of new flavors. Hmm? Choose Boris. Make no mistake. Man, he's a tough opponent. Yeah, seems like a talented waiter. Yeah, but... But what? But he's still just a waiter. You know, probably he went to catering school and they trained him how to smile and give correct change and... I don't know, probably he's good at math. What's your point? My point is that he's still just a waiter. Well, yeah, but if he serves, the food must be better. Food from where? He makes it. He makes it. How? So... If you win the election, then you create meals. I never understood this. Where does the food come from? I only see the prepared dishes. No, I, I can't create food. 
Well, I, I can. But you but just said that you would keep our nutrition right and boost our vitamin levels. I need votes and I know what people want to hear. So basically, if you get elected, the food will stay the same. No! Uh, food will be better, as I promised. But you just said that it was for the votes and you don't know how to create meals. No, I meant what I said. I will provide better food. How? For example, when there's a new sandwich, you and Pete will get first try. Okay, but I mean, <laughs> how will the average food that we eat here every day be better? I'll pay close attention. I personally will check the quality of the food. I'm not going to serve you this. But how do you make better burgers? I'll give you 25% more fries. I'll give you 20% more soda. I'm going to make sure that these burgers look like they do on the poster. I see. I still don't. How will your burger be any better? Isn't there a kitchen where it's all put together and where there are cooks and chefs? Oh, cooks and chefs, don't even start with that. That's a conspiracy theory, Monique. There are no chefs. Do you see a cook? Do you see a kitchen? The waiter provides the food. He feeds you. But, but there must be a kitchen in the back. <laughs> of course, in the back. <laughs> you, you're on YouTube too much. They're in the back peeling potatoes and they're frying meat. Yes, and if the food sucks, then they replace the chef, the cook, or maybe the recipe oh, even. Oh dear, you, you don't know how anything works. But you know what? <laughs> Since I'm a candidate, I have a pass to every room here. I'll show you something. Don't go back there. Those that went never came back. The kitchen sucked them up. There's no kitchen. These are legends our parents told us. Come with me. Oh, okay, you were right. I, I really feel stupid. Now. That's okay. Now you know the truth. If you want change, vote for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. Our waiter for the next four years is none other than Jack Boris. Thank you so hard, ladies and gentlemen. I will not let you down. I'll keep my promise. I hope you're ready for the pizzas, pastas, ravioli, and spaghetti. Double portion every Monday. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, the ingredients were impossible to acquire. I mean, it's not my fault I placed the order. I don't know. The supply train derailed. Enjoy your meal.